Okay, that great fairy battle was absolutely insane. It wants me to do this battle, apparently. Level 30, Colosseum Beginner. Huh. Now, apparently we have this. What bad weather? A merchant group wants to improve the flow of regional goods around Western Hyrule. Help them prepare for the varied climates they'll travel through. Discount in, Western Hy in West Hyrule, 10%. Okay, so we can give that. We got that discount. Thanks to your help, the merchant group was ready for anything. Heat, cold, or lightning. They'll continue to keep moving goods for the sake of every one of their regions. Nice. So it seems like there are a whole bunch more orange ones that are lighting up with, like, stuff that I can use. Is the thing for stuff that I'm currently tracking. So I need those chill shrooms, apparently. The first clear reward. Anti-ice training, too. Hmm. Well, special conditions time limited. We can play somebody else for funsies. Leave it to me. Yeah, sure. Sure, man. I'm getting some more experience and stuff. This is what we can do, and then on we go. Yeah, that last battle was absolutely insane. Hopefully this next one is not as bad. I hope at least, because, uh, man, that great fairy was certainly something. You silly tired, doggy. You doing okay? Just, just really tired, looks like. <laughs> Yeah, the magma ramps created by strong attacks can also be detonated by pressing ZR. Yes. Yes, I've done that. I think that's cool how we can literally create like a rock magma ramp thing. I think that's neat. I can always adjust the cam down slightly as she's adjusted. Yeah, something like that. Something like that for Doogie Cam. Alright, defeat the ice moblins and it's time limited. Okay, well. I honestly thought that would be a Flurry Rush timing. Is what I honestly thought. Well. Stop. Well. And then we'll do that. Okay, we're only getting it down one notch each time. Like, I mean, if we want to, like, really ham these out, I could always do it as, like, you know, two-handed weapon link. Or not two-handed weapon, freaking one-handed weapon link what we could do. I wonder if it's worthwhile setting up rocks like this. For like before you do your thing. And then detonating them. Like nah. No, it got destroyed anyway. Well, but there's a thing over there. Okay, weak point smash. Hopefully this is enough. It's not. I'll be mad. It's not enough. I might literally need to switch to Link. Like I, I do just straight up might not be strong enough is the thing. If I need to take out, you know, that many more, then we have a little bit of a problem on our hands, if that's the case, you know? So, uh, well, I'm gonna just do that. I mean, I small was, okay, there's two at once here this time. I have no more healing items after I used them all in the last battle. All right, let's see here. So fighting them all at once might not be half bad then. Maybe, maybe we'll do a weak point smash on you like this. If we can get multiple of you with an ice rod, or, or a fire rod, sorry. Kind of like I might be able to here. That'd be pretty cool. Oh, literally all of them. Well. Yes. Yes. Okay, we can definitely do it with Daruk then. In that case, I feel like. And these other ones have their weak point gauges, like, a lot of the way down. At least. Ow! I was literally dodging that! Are you kidding me? My goodness. We'll do a weak point smash here. I literally can't heal. I used all my healing items in the last battle. I do wish that it refreshed from battle to battle. Kind of like in the original Hyrule Warriors. But alas, I might just have to fire rod them all again. So I might have to do... Dang, I got two of them. Stop. Stop. May as well smack a with this guy as much as I can to whittle that down while I have that opening because I'm not going to be able to get another one like that again. Okay, I think this is the one that has its weak point gauge. Really low. Yeah, it is. Okay. I have no method to heal. Which is quite scary. 
Hopefully it doesn't expect me to take up some other enemies within this time limit. No falcon kick for you. Oh, that forces your weak point gauge out? Maybe. Hmm. Maybe I'll try doing that again. No, maybe it doesn't force it out. Maybe? No idea. Oh, and that creates a ramp as well. Well, Stace is kind of the wrong direction. <laughs> but uh, it's fine. Well, well, I'm facing the wrong direction here. Well, okay, just the last little bit here. Just the last wee bit. Okay, he's going to make the opening for me, which is quite nice. So then. I was honestly trying to not weak point smash. Because it would have been faster to take him out without it. Okay, the time limit's gone at least. Oh crap. Oh crap. And I'm one shotable, so I mean, I've got no more fire rod. Um, everything sucks. I mean, I can probably do the strat though, with the bombs that I figured out. Okay, nice. It seems like I can, so I should be able to get up. There we go. Oh! Might be damaging myself a little bit with this. Hopefully it doesn't kill me though. I really hope that... I think the elements of the taluses will like... Bring you all the way down to a quarter heart without killing you. I think. I'm not 100% certain. Well. And then we do the big spin thing for Bob. Okay, yeah, I feel like... Sticking with bombs is probably going to be a good idea. And it seems like Daruk's method of throwing bombs is very good for taking out both arms at once. It definitely seems like. So we should be able to make it so that this dude can just never attack us. Yeah, it doesn't seem like the frost effect is going to kill. It's just going to keep you down in a quarter heart. So as long as we keep him from, like, ever attacking, then we're golden. I really hope there's no more of those frost pebbles down there. Looks like there's one behind me that I could always deal with just to make sure that you don't sneak up on me. All right, wait for him to get his arms back. Look out, I'm armed. I won. Or at least you were armed. No luck. Yeah, Daruk's method with throwing bombs is perfect for taking out both of the Talus' arms. So like we should be able to make it so the Talus can just like never attack. In theory. Oh, there's a time limit. I'm just now noticing. Well, I mean, like... I mean, like... I need to get up here. I need to get up here. What? No, get up on the freaking Talus, Daruk! Daruk might straight up not be strong enough to bring down the Talus' HP in time, even when I'm doing things, like, almost as fast as I can. Like... But, you know... Kind of says something. Okay, well. Well. I'm trying my best here. I am certain. Nice camera, bro. My goodness, well, three seconds left. I mean, I don't know if it's exactly happening here, per se. Well, get up there. Well. We'll see how much the weak point smash does. I don't have a special attack that I can burn on. Yeah, well. I can see what happens if I use a bomb right now instead of waiting for the bombs to... Yeah. Yeah, it's not happening. It's just straight up not going to be happening. So, like... My Daru just straight up isn't strong enough to whittle down the Frost Talus' HP in time unless I'm, like, really efficient about it. Yeah, the difficulty, any timing-based level does not seem to account for, like, the difficulty of very hard in terms of how much HP they have. So, like, I'll try to speedrun this, basically. That's what I'll basically try to do. And do as much damage here as I can. And then bomb, like, immediately when I can when he has both arms and such. And then we get on. And then we do this. Time to speed run beating the Talus. This is what we do. I was not actually trying to hop down. 
So I'll keep on hitting you while you're getting your arms back, is what we'll do. And the moment you get your arms back, then we do the bombs. And I didn't even get both the uh, both arms up that time. But this time I will. It seems like. So let's get up here. Time to speed run this crap. This is what we do. Oh, the reason why I hopped down earlier is because I tried doing like the dash cancel thing for Bob. But that's also the get off button when you're on the talus. Okay. If we keep up this speed, if we keep it up, everything should be pretty A-OK. -okay. So you've got both your arms, so then we'll just bomb like that. Love all our magma stuff. And we get up here. Yeah, I feel like we can definitely do it in time, but like I need to be so fast about things. And not make mistakes here. Is kind of the thing. And then we need to keep hitting you while you're getting your arms back. And the moment you got them both back, we'll do this. And then... Oh, dang. Hmm. Dang, man. Don't. Okay, hopefully this one takes out both arms. Looks like it did. Looks like it did indeed. Let's get on again. Come on. Come on, I'm trying my best here. I'm trying to be as fast as I possibly can with this. I literally need to freaking speedrun beating this freaking Talus. Is what I gotta do. Well, get the weak point there a little bit. Hope this bomb that take. Okay, the bomb does take the both out this time around. I'm literally speedrunning this as fast as I can. I can definitely do it in time, but like, it hasn't been easy, to say the least. It definitely has not exactly been easy. I wouldn't say. We might even be able to do it with a special attack. Kind of facing the wrong direction. Okay, we're almost there. We're almost there. I mean, ride. We could be able. We should be able to do it like right now. Very hard difficulty in this game is no laughing matter. Like my goodness. Got a stone smasher there. Oh man. Anti ice training two. Jeebus. Hello, hello, Cam. This is neat. This game right here, I would definitely agree with that. Or just the fact of, like, what I had to do to take down the Talus in time. My goodness, we got a whole bunch of stuff off of that. Oh, man, thank you for carrying me to victory, Daruk. My goodness. So not okay. I know I can skip that cutscene, but like, I'm uh, I, I quite like that little scene. You've seen nothing of Age of Calamity? Oh, so this is your first time, first time seeing it? This is just pre-Link nap time. Yep, yeah, basically. The hundred years ago of Breath of the Wild is what it is. So yeah, I don't know if you've seen anything of the original Hyrule Warriors cam. Or seen anything like that on my channel before, since I have covered that before. Hopefully you've seen my content! No, I'm joking. Um, let's see here. Anti-lightning training too. Well, I could try that. A bit of it of the original? We could try to rook again for fun. But like, it says it's time limited, and that last one was freaking insane when it was time limited, so we could do something that I'm like, more adept with like, Impa, or something. Is what we could do. And then we could do like... Here's the damage plus 5% one, we have plenty of those. Sure, let's cook it. Let's cook it and let's go- oh, there's gonna be a Hinox to fight. Is that an electric Hinox? Uh, I think I should take out a whole bunch of yellow choo-choos because I think I need a whole bunch of yellow choo-choo jelly. I think. We'll see. It's a high knocks indeed. Indeed it is. The last one that we took down as Rivali was uh, certainly something. And then the Great Fairy after that was certainly something else. Like my goodness. Jump around little guardian. Use weapons and improve them to their limit. Hidden seals may even appear. Oh? Like if you get a weapon to like max of level 20, hidden seals are gonna appear on it? You what? Excuse on me? Start battle. All right, let's see here. Defeat many enemies, 200 apparently. Well, let's see. Time to get a whole bunch of clones. And then we're just gonna go around like deleting everything. 
Ready to get deleted. I've only defeated like seven with that. My goodness, they must have a lot of health in this. I guess it's because I'm playing on very hard, but I mean. Steal yourself. But I mean, I stole a yikes. Okay, kaboom. That did not take out a whole lot, did it now? Very Hyrule Warriors-esque, yep. Oop. Well, I mean, same kind of gameplay systems, pretty much. Oop, we'll get a whole bunch of clones from that. And then we'll basically barrel through these areas with a whole bunch of Impa clones. Is what we'll do. Yeah, they must have a lot of health. They're like, not done. The counter is not increasing at all. I am ready. Yeah, the very hard difficulty and timer-based missions do not, you know, fit well together, do they now? Well, whoops, no, not quite what I wanted to do there. Ow. If I can get some yellow choo-choo jelly off of that, that'd be cool. Well, go ahead and get these symbols. That's what we do. Like, even these tougher combos oftentimes aren't enough to freaking do it. My goodness. Hey, electric keys. I need your wings for something. Okay, there we can take out a whole bunch of them really fast because they don't have a whole lot of health at least. Should I go into those boxes? I do need food items. Yeah, we have a new Orbosa combo available. You just told me. Now that I have all the electric stuff that I need. I really need food items from somewhere or something is what I need. Ow. Okay, well. Let's see. Let's get some clones. There we go. I need some more clones, actually. Ideally. And then if we push them all over kind of into this area over here. Let's go ahead and do a special attack in this area. They have so much health. We should definitely be able to do it in time. I believe. But I worry about like what the objective afterwards is gonna be. Is a thing. Can I put symbols onto the keys? I guess I can. Let's absorb symbols. There we go, and get our maximum amount of clones that we can get. I should probably focus on Mr. Electric Wizard before he causes me too much difficulty. It's probably not a bad idea. Oh, I should have waited for him to make his weak point gauge available first. Whatever. Whatever, I suppose. See how much damage this does. Boop. There we go. We got the first mission success. Electric Moblins have appeared. Okay, so we should just be able to take out Electric Wiz Rogue like this. Nice. Alright, so we have three minutes to defeat the Electric Moblins. That should be more than enough, assuming their HP isn't, like, stupidly high. I've got no fire on. I've got no healing items. Ah, oh, man. Healing items, please? Hey, we actually got some healing items there. Whoa. Holy crap, what is going on? Imp is so good at lagging the game. By a lot. Well. Apparently there's going to be a Hinox as well, so like, I am going to be a little bit wary of that is the thing. Let's put symbols on both of them so we can get my clones back, because I need to remember that the special attack takes away my clones. I was locked in an animation when you hit- Come on! I can't heal! I have no- I have one healing item. But they carry over from battle to battle. So if I use it now, I'm going to screw myself for future battles. That barely did anything! Wait. Oh, it barely did anything to this one, that's why. It completely took out that other one. I was so perplexed. I was about to say I've never seen a weak point break. Do so little. Okay, well. Well. I need to put some symbols onto you. And then get clones and stuff. Yeah, I have a healing item. I really wish it was like the original Hyrule Warriors where you just got like so many potions that would refresh at the beginning of each battle. But, but this game, it's a, it's a freaking electric freaking Hinox. Frog, bog, bog to the frog. This dude can literally kill me just by walking over me. So like, you know, it's gonna be a little bit scary. I am trying to get out of here. Well, uh oh. Uh-oh. Stasis onto you. My goodness. 
What? He landed anyway? Well, I got a flurry rush off. Well, let's let's do this. I have two minutes, 22 seconds to defeat Mr. Electric Hinox here. So, I mean, uh... Okay, put a symbol onto you. Which I'll go ahead and absorb here. Get another set of clones. I was supposed to say, is that bug? That was weird. That was rather strange, wasn't it? Okay, there's our clones. Stop, stop. Oh my goodness, I'm fully rushing it. Whew. Hmm. Stop. This instant, please. Well. Hmm. Stop that. You are so rude. Whoa, well, I have to wait for the stasis symbol this time. We didn't even get a stasis symbol. Typically, we do get a stasis thing there. Maybe it's just not for electric hinoxes or something. Then I would hear it, but well, now I'm for sure one shot him. Oh crap. Oh, well, this works out in that case, I suppose. Well. I can do another special attack if need be. Which will be more powerful if I have more clones. That's the thing, so if I can get one more set of clones, that would be ideal. Well, let's do this really quickly while he's in the middle of rolling and hope that it's enough. I don't like being at a quarter heart. I'm not the biggest fan. Okay, well, okay. Woo. I swear, I spend most of this game at a quarter heart. That's what it feels like a lot of the time. I do definitely spend a lot of it at that. My goodness. Well, there's anti-lightning training, too. Only one of those ones that's left is anti-fire training, too, I guess. My goodness. There's probably... Oh, we got a Forks Boomerang. Cool. Cool, man. I got this stuff that I need for another Urbosa combo, so that's nice. That's pretty neato. I've continued to say it, and I will continue to say it, the freaking levels on very hard are no laughing matter. And apparently now we can get another Urbosa combo. Conductive to conducting, a fierce thunderstorm is approaching, which Urbosa sees as an opportunity to elevate her lightning harnessing abilities. To be safe, she ought to do something to increase her electrical resistance. And now we have the things to increase her electrical resistance, thankfully. Urbosa's training session with the yellow choo-choo jelly was a success. Notwithstanding a couple of shocks, she learned a new move. All right, so that extends that a little bit. Nice. Oh man, it wants me to. It still wants me to go level up other characters, which I mean isn't isn't a bad idea, I guess. I mean, Ooh. I could try boosting everybody up to like 30. That's what I could do if I turn my camera to show my rupee count. Get everybody to at least 30. That's probably actually a good idea. Probably not a half bad idea. Get everybody to at least level 30. And then there's Link who's just level 42. He's just Lonk. So something like this. Probably should have done that earlier before I was doing these side things. Maybe, maybe. Is anybody almost full on weapons? Nah. Nah, we're okay. I think Hestu has a thing that can be sold. I think. Yeah, here's a thing that's... Helpful to sell. So we'll do that. Okay, well. We could always track this then. Is what we could do. Oh, I probably want to track that one, don't I? That's what I probably want to do. Hmm, where would I get that butterfly from anyway, huh? Thunderwing butterfly. There's not a shop that sells it or anything, is there? And one that sells that kind of butterfly? No. Nope, doesn't look like- Don't I need guardian parts for like some other thing? Stuff like that? A fire key swing here. A 
Any meat there. Yeah, I need some of those thing or bobs, which I could potentially get from that one shop then, actually. It seems like. Sure, I'll take them all. Whatever, I'll take them all. Oh my goodness, maybe I shouldn't have taken them all. <laughs> maybe not. All right, researchers trying to develop an upgrade for stasis have come up with and have come up empty-handed. Carrying parts might give them a hint, but how could they possibly obtain those? I probably shouldn't have bought them all. Within days of receiving the ancient materials, researchers announced a new upgrade for stasis. More than the items themselves, you show your your show of support had made all the difference. Okay, so that should be like all our runes upgraded, basically. All our thing. Oh, I there's something from here that I need. Oh, I- you do sell the butterflies! Okay. And now we can get a spear bonus. No, we can't. We can get this! The, sorry, wrong thing! A most peculiar quark. A quark wants to possess a flower that swirls with butterflies. The creature seems to know much about the quark community and may have something special to tell you if you help. Alrighty. Then we'll do that. Neat. The quarks got their flower that blooms and swirls with butterflies. In return, they taught you about a quark hiding place that no one knows about. See quark details and battle info. Okay, so I wonder if when I go into battle, I'll be able to see, like if I check battlefield info, if it'll show me the locations of the quarks or just like how many are remaining? Or just show me the ones I've already collected? Something that makes them collecting easier, I assume. Something like that. There's something from here I need? Apparently. Oh, that thing, and that would give me another Darut combo, wouldn't it? Through the desert, huh? Well, we could go with the theme of Darut. Leave it to me. Is what we could do. And then, uh... Yeah, this one takes two of those, but I only have, like, so many anyway. Hmm. Wow, my back is itchy! Hmm. Hmm. I mean, we could just do a whole bunch of eggs in this trying time. Is what we could do. Yeah, let's do this Daruk one, is what we'll do. Or, it's not a Daruk one, but we'll do it as Daruk, and it'll give me a first time victory reward for something that benefits my Daruk. Because I believe that gives him another combo. That was a weird lingering effect there for a hot second. If you use the art to turn the power of protection into an attack, you can detonate the magma pillars you've created. Okay, so that's the explanation of. Him being able to detonate magma pillars is it's part of the rook's protection. Hmm. Hmm. That's peculiar, isn't it? We're getting the moonwalk again with the guardian. I don't know how I do that, but sometimes it happens. Sometimes that happens. I'm not sure why. But sometimes it does. S2 back here, just kind of chilling and stuff. Yep. All right. Well, Autobots, roll out. Head for Guru Town. Will do. Monster hordes have been discovered, so I assume there's gonna be stuff that like stands in my way. I mean, they're not exactly blocking my way. Aid the Gerudo captains. Dang it. Guess we're going back. At least there's no time limit. If there was a time limit, I probably would have restarted right there. Okay, well. Wow, we actually managed to get back here in time for that weak point gauge. Incredible. Hey, food! I need that. What? This is a weird little corner, isn't it? Well. Well. Maybe I should do this? And maybe... Oh yeah, that, I think that might be my best option for whittling down the weak point gauge, actually. Because maybe I should go with that. Maybe, maybe. That does so much damage. Yeah, maybe doing something like this, and then that does a whole bunch down the ramp thing and then we can detonate that all together when I do I'm getting stuck on the fire my goodness my weakness fire ow I didn't hit as hard as I thought it would I guess it's probably a good thing that I leveled up to 30 and the training academy thing and then okay do the thing neat whoa good point smash it that'll be moblin number one taken out batter up my healing items do I have? I'm gonna need them for like future battles. Oh, yeah. Not two out of six right now. Is there any stuff I can break to potentially try to get healing items? Probably not. Probably not. No, don't. 
Coming through. Coming through. Almost Black Friday. After all. Though by the time this goes up on YouTube, it'll be like way after Black Friday. Whoa. Okay, stop. Whoops. Dang it. Wrong butt. All planned. All planned. It was also I could get like a purposeful flurry rush. That's all it was. All along. Okay. Now we'll hit the right buttons. Woo! My goodness. Do the ramp thing for Bob. Okay. Things are going pretty alright. This is what it's kind of seeming like. I don't know how that didn't hit me. Ow! Well. And then we'll blow up this magma. Steph. I don't know if this will be enough to kill considering how much damage we've done up to this point. Yeah, it looks like it's not. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, we should be able to finish you off with basic attacks or stuff like this. We should be able to finish you off here with something like... Something like this. There we go. One more to go. Whoa. So then we go this way. That's a fire moblin over here, looks like. A fire moblin, you say? Oh, you damaged me, but you made my apples like better. It's the roasted down. My goodness. No, I got stuck on a thing. Well. Okay. Yeah, I really don't want to use any healing items here because I am going to need them for future battles and all that fun stuff. And I might potentially die if I don't use them. Okay, stop with this crap. Please be heliums in those boxes that I think I broke. It doesn't seem like there was. I swear there was boxes over here. Yeah, there was. Dang. No heliums for me. Such sad times. My goodness. Don't you dare breathe fire my, in my general vicinity! Sure, do your thing. Do your thing there! Oh wow, you're literally one hit from a weak point smash. There's a box here again! Food? Maybe? No? It's our food. Just likes to kind of never drop for me. What? I swear I pressed X to summon the mag- I'm, I got so lucky there, holy crap. Well, well, smackaroo. Yeah, we can probably just finish off your health normally then. Most likely. Oop, so we're almost there, I mean. Mr. Fire Moblin. Stop that this instant, please. Roar Captain has been rescued. Okay, what now? What do we have now? Hey, I think I need Octo Balloons and stuff. It's like, if you guys want to give them to me, that'd be cool. Oh, we got to fight a Mulduga now. And I have one heart to do so with. Oh, so that's fun, isn't it? Oh, never mind, I lied, I got a quarter heart thanks to these guys. That's pretty cool. Well, okay. Smack, smack, smack. Oi. Then we do this. Okay. smack a I'm literally one-shotable. Man, I could always just hold a whole bunch of Druze protection. Looks like the Gerudo Captain's kind of trying to help me out. Is the thing. Which, what's it gonna be, huh? This again. Because it works for me. Okay, smackaroo. And then, we do this. And activate a whole bunch of magma. How about we do this? Sure. Thunderclap! Whoa, bam! Sweet. Well. Okay. Bit by bit here, we're whittling it down. Bit by bit. Mr. Molduga! What's it going to be this time, Molduga? Are you gonna do it again? Please tell me you're gonna do it again. You're gonna do it again. Cool. Do it. Do it again. Okay, smack a room from above. Oh, we could detonate those barrels over there. But, like, there's a chance they would hit me as well. I don't know if I want to rip. Oh, come on! Oh, yeah, all the Guru captains are helping me. That's pretty cool. Bam! Take that little notch of damage. Are you just gonna keep on doing the. 
quite honest one. Is it because I'm holding shield or something like that? Like we're never getting the one where it like jumps out of the sand like in Breath of the Wild and we can use bombs on it. Nice camera angle. Smack. I don't exactly have a ranged attack that I can use on that fire barrel over yonder way. Not exactly. But what's it gonna be, huh? What's it gonna be? Here it is! There it is! Right as I mentioned- Hey! Well. Okay. Well. I'm just doing this whole battle all being one shot. Well, slow and steady wins the race. I mean, we could always do, say, this. Fun. Oh, and that gives a flaming kind of effect. Oh, no, I think we actually did blow up the barrel behind it with that. Okay. That was pretty good luck, honestly. Nice. I'm wary of it doing a spin as it gets up, damaging me. Yeah, we've got, like, half healing items, which I would like to keep for the future. Ideally. Okay. Oop. There we go. Way up. And then, oop. Time to blow up a whole bunch of magma stuff, and then we'll even do this, the thunderclap. Well, bam. Can you handle it, Moltuka? Can you now? Now that is the question. Well, bam. Okay. Yeah, I'm trying to be very, very careful here. Moltuka. I gonna do the bomb one again? I honest one again, maybe? I guess so. Alright, come here! Get time for some mid-air smackaroos. And then we blow up a whole bunch of- Hey! Blow up a whole bunch of magma, please! How do I teleport to the other side? The heck? Slow and steady. Wins the race. Jamming. Okay, well, here we go again. We go again. And then mid-air smackaroos. And then, time for some mega. Then we do it again. Do it again. And then we do this. Okay, so after this, we'll probably have to do like one more of these and then the Mulduga should be down. I hope. I hope at least. Whoa, Daruk's just gonna do like a big spin for a hot second. Don't mind him. Whee! Bomb. Imagine if that actually like winds up damaging me or something though. Well. Okay, well. Blow stuff up. Kaboom! Okay, I'm trying to be so careful here. One more weak point, smash and we'll have it. Yeah, it's that spin that I was wary of. One more thing. Another cryonis one. Looks like. All right, come on over here. Come on down to Daruk's Smackdown. That's where you can come on down to. Wah. And then blow it up. We might even kill the Mulduga before the weak point gauge breaks. If I die like right here, I'd be so mad. After all this, when you rage quit, get boop. And then, time to detonate a whole bunch of stuff. Like this. This is what we better do. Almost there. Aw, oh, so close! Yeah, we might still take it out without getting the weak points, but I'm just gonna take it super carefully, not attack it when its weak point gauge isn't out. Just because, you know, quarter heart, and it took me so long to get here. Just play it safe all the way through to the end. Even though a couple of hits would probably do it. Just be as safe as possible. Yeah, just play it super safe. You're gonna run into that, and that might actually kill. Oh. If the Mulduga killed itself by hitting the ice block, that would have been hilarious. Nice camera angle. Oh, that's intended. It turns. <laughs> Kaboom. I was about to say. Okay, well... Here goes the Mulduga. My goodness, through the desert. 
victory. My goodness, got 521 rupees off of that. I'm surprised I didn't get more experience. Alright, yeah, I need that. I need those Hydro Melons, and it should give me another Daruk combo. You've earned it, Daruk. Oh, and it looked like that one unlocked some more battles as well in that case. And we got another thing available for Daruk. Mighty Thunder of the Gerudo, Daily Drills Gerudo, another Fairy Fountain one. Okay, but yeah, let's go over here and grab the- Oh yeah, we never even checked what that thing was. Whoops. But let's see here, Daruk bonus combo. Daruk's got his mind set on a test of courage that's never been tried before. Standing atop bubbling lava. Hello and prepare to achieve this seemingly impossible feat. Well, here you go, Daruk. Daruk stepped into the bubbling lava and survived. Even hot magma is no match for the great Daruk, he cried. Galvanized by his volcanic triumph, he became an even mightier warrior. All right, so he's got his final X thing now. Nice. Oh, we got our first hyped person here. Cool. Oh, got a whole bunch of Goron spice from that. What is this anyway? A rumor about Skull Lake. Is this to do with like, what's his face that gives you like the masks and stuff? You've heard that when night falls at Skull Lake, a merchant sometimes appears who trades special items from monster parts. Find out if the rumor is true. Dang it, I had that, those things. But like, I kept on using them for, dang it. I kept using them for the thingmerbob. Uh, de-rusting weapons. We just literally need to take out a bunch of goblins for that. For Kilton or whatever the heck his name is. I need octo balloons for that one. How do I still have enough octo balloons? Do you sell octo balloons? Yeah. You sell something else I need. You sell octo balloons. I'm taking them. Oh. I'm taking them. All right, let's grab this. The instructor at the military training camp is studying how best to fight small monsters, bringing what he needs to develop tactics for the pint-sized problems. Military training camp discount. I should have done that before I leveled everybody up to thirty. Oops. The instructor studied what you brought and soon developed a groundbreaking approach to battling small monsters. He will add it to the training options. <sighs> I should have done that earlier, huh? Yeah, so we literally just need to take out a whole bunch of goblins for that. I should have kept over a hundred of my materials that I didn't think I was gonna need. Shouldn't have used them in the thingmerbob there. Dang. Very unfortunate. Well, we could get more stuff available on the map in terms of, like, quest stuff. If we go do the next main mission. Destroy the Yi Clan. Recommended level 33, huh? Well, I can bring two characters in. Link is always a pretty staple, and then we can have, say, I wish to keep everyone safe. Is kind of what I'm leaning towards there. And then we can just do something for like a whole bunch of experience, like this. So let's destroy the Yiga clan, I suppose. 